Hi, my name is Anna Marie. Welcome to Actual Spinster. And this is going to be a video about my best books of 2023. I've done the format that I'm about to do for ages, uh, like for the past five years, which is kind of crazy. Also, before I start, I guess I want to say I have a wish for the new year, 2024, that we see the liberation of Palestine and the liberation of all people under the yoke of colonialism and capitalism. So with that, <laughs> so the best book about Shabbos is this, The Sabbath by Abraham Joshua Heschel. Best book about Judaism, unions and angels goes to When the Angels Left the Old Country by Sasha Lam, which I guess also picks up best YA book. We obviously have to have a best book about spinster's choice on this channel, and that goes to Black Narcissus by Ruma Godin, which also takes up best book about nuns and also remembrance. Best book about translation goes to, like about translation, specifically not not translated for me at least. This is Insurrecto by Gina Apostol and Intimacies by Katie Kitamura. And then Insurrecto also gets best novel about filmmaking and grief and Intimacies gets best novel about language and violence. Best translated book goes to Siblings by Brigitte Ryman, translated from the German by Lucy Jones and also Sweet Days of Discipline by Fla Ye Yi, translated by Tim Parks. Siblings also picks up best book about noticing politics and art, as well as the best book I read about the German Democratic Republic slash East Berlin. I think an honorable mention for best book about art probably also goes to Your Love Is Not Good by Joanna Hedver. Best book about ghosts goes to Briefly A Delicious Life by Nell Stevens, with a little shout out to Aviva vs. The Dibbuck by Mari Lowe. Scariest novel, which is also so gay, goes to The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. Best graphic biography goes to The Five Lives of Hilma Af Clint by Philip Danes. Best graphic nonfiction, like more generally, goes to The Chagos Betrayal, How Britain Robbed an Island and Made a People Disappear by Florian Grosset. Dykia's sci-fi book goes to None of the Ninth by Tamsin Muir, which is the third in the Locked Tomb series. And Dykia's historical fiction book goes to The Night Watch by Sarah Waters. I think both of these are good for the category, but I also feel like I just need to keep reading Daikia books, and I'm not. If you do have any Daiki book recommendations, like, please let me know. <laughs> like, of course, Briefly, A Delicious Life also picks up best historical fiction book with maybe The Night Watch as a secondary. Most remarkable book for its publication date probably has to go to Swords Point by Ellen Kushner, which is a fantasy of manners, um, and it was written in the 1980s, and it's set in a world where there's a lot of bisexuality and there's no homophobia. So yeah, there's a lot of classism, but there's no homophobia. <laughs> Best nonfiction book about work goes to Lost in Work, uh, Escaping Capitalism by Amelia Horgan. Best poetry collection about Jewish anarchist diasporism and Judeo-Islamic connection goes to The Swarm by Dahlia Nais. Best memoir about growing up under Soviet communism goes to Free, uh, Coming of Age at the End of History by Leia Uppi. Most charming protagonist I think has to go to Blanca, who narrates Briefly a Delicious Life. Best escapist fantasy probably goes to the Fellowship of the Ring, the first book in the Lord of the Rings series, and also maybe Lud in the Mist by Hope Marlies, which also gets most compelling case for nonsense, legality, and fairy fruit. Best nonfiction book goes to The Sabbath by Abraham Joshua Heschel, and also Interviews with Radical Palestinian Women, edited by The Shawl Collective. I think Most Recommended Book is also picked up by Interviews with Radical Palestinian Women, as well as Intimacies. Best Series, I think, has to be Discworld, because I did read four Discworld novels this year. Longest Book was A Day of Fallen Night by Samantha Shannon, which was about 860 pages. Best Book about Physical Archives, Trauma and Healing goes to The Deep by River Solomon. Best Book about Grief and Reproductive Healthcare goes to No One Is Talking About This by Patricia Lockwood. Most Disappointing Book was definitely No Modernism Without Lesbians, by Diana Suhaimi. The best sequel was between Masquerade by Terry Pratchett and None of the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. And Masquerade also picks up best book about disability and the opera. Most convincing case for becoming a cop-hating lesbian communist goes to Everything for Everyone, an oral history of the New York Commune 2052 to 2072 by Emmy O'Brien and Eman Abdelhadi. And this also gets best book about the future. I think it's fairly clear which are my favourites from this list, but overall the absolute faves are 
when the angels left the old country, siblings, intimacies, interviews with radical Palestinian women, insurrecto, and briefly, A Delicious Life by Nell Stevens. Great, thank you so much for uh, being here for the past year. Thank you for all of your lovely comments. I normally don't do this in a video, but I'm going to be making a book recommendation video, which is what I've done the past two years now, based on your favorite color. So if you go to my community tab and tell me your favorite color, recent favorite books that you read and anything you're specifically looking for and then hopefully I'll make a video in the end of January or something where I recommend you a book. I hope you're having a lovely day when you see this. To the end of all nation states in 2024. Let's do this.